Hello, all my YouTube friends. How are you guys? I am outside and it is getting windy. We're going to have another storm. We have been having a lot of storms lately and I wanted to kind of show you, although it's kind of in the background, my one apple tree. I was so sad yesterday I came out and a big section of it with the apples, there was three apples on it, um, broke completely off. So I had to remove it and I do have the three apples though. I don't know if they're really ready yet, um, but I am going to try them. So I will show you those three apples anyway. So, you know, I'm a little sad, but hopefully the tree will survive it and it'll be okay. Um, other than that, I guess I could take you over and show you some of the watermelons. Let's do that before the storm comes. And I'm just on lunch break from work, so <laughs> I have to hustle. <laughs> so let's go look. All right, well, on the way to the to the watermelons here, we will stop and look. And I am starting to wonder, one of you guys told me that your pumpkins, you had all male flowers and um, never did get any pumpkins. And I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to have the same problem because I haven't seen anything. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, you guys. Holy cow, look at this. Can you see it? It's totally hidden. Look, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't even know what to be looking for. It looks different than what I would have even thought. So yay, I guess we are going to get a pumpkin. Let's see if there's another one hiding somewhere. How funny is that? I totally hadn't even seen that. Ooh, and I do have some sort of that mildew stuff going on. I hope that doesn't kill my plant. I have to do something about that. Oh my gosh, but I'm so excited. How funny. I'm just in love with this little pumpkin now. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. And then I did come over here and my friend Big B told me to uh, make sure I turn my melons. So <laughs> I have been slowly turning them a little bit. And um, they're doing good. So let's see, there's one, two, three, there's a little one there, four, over there's, I don't know if you can see that, five, <laughs> six, another little one, here's another little one, seven, my big one, number eight, here's nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15 guys, holy moly, 15 melons. So yay, this is exciting. Really looking forward to that. And here is, um, I do still have these couple here, but right over here is where my, oh, I don't know. Do you guys have any advice? Am I supposed to do anything to, you know, save my tree? I don't know if that's gonna hurt it you know, to the point that it'll kill it or what? I don't know, what do you guys think? But yeah, my big branch, so it's about half the size that it was, and there's more storms coming, so I hope that it won't do too much more damage. Oh, and I just noticed too my, uh, this is my other apple tree. I just noticed to look at my windmill here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is like tipped over. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna have to, get my husband out here to push this down in the ground again because it's coming out of the ground we've had some really strong winds coming through let's see what's going on over here while we're out of here why not my raspberries are not looking very good that's for sure let's go over here to this afterthought now literally guys this whole plant i i'm sorry i always get alerts on my phone and it makes a ding for you guys um this whole plant literally is from one single watermelon seed. It was an afterthought. I didn't know what to put in here. So I threw in one little seed. I didn't know if, what was going to happen, but it's moving along. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll get a melon in here. And let's just go over here and see what's going on with my peppers. Ooh, they're looking good, looking good. 
Lots of pretty peppers. This one kind of like is stuck in there. It like grew in between the branches. Everything's looking good. Ooh, this one's getting pretty big here. And back there's those jalapenos. Starting to get some of those, I think they say they're stress marks. I don't know. But I think the marks mean that they're hotter. I don't know. I'm leaving them on there because my husband likes really hot peppers. So I think I heard that if you leave them on, they'll get hotter and even turn red. So that's what I'm trying to do. All right, guys. Well, I have to. Oh, and over here, look at this. I haven't been out here since the storms last night. And you can see my bean plants have been mangled here holy moly yikes they're all tangled i don't know what i'm gonna do about that after work i'll come out here and try to fix them up but boy and i have let some of these go way too long i've just been getting so many beans i can't even make it through oh my gosh you guys look at all this i definitely need to get out here and do some work in my garden things are getting crazy but with the kids starting school and me starting a job, things have just been kind of out of control. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, guys. Well, I have to get back to work, but I just wanted to make this intro. And I'll see you guys in a little bit out of the dumpsters. Hey guys. Hey guys, we're at Party City. There's a bunch of chips in here. Light is going dim. All right, guys. Let's get these chips. My grabber, this grabber. Man. I really like this grabber. It's good for lightweight things, but it is very finicky too. Lots of pretzels, guys. These are kettle chips. Chex Mix.
opened. Guys, look at this chip score. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> wow, guys, this was awesome. So we got five big party size bags of the Lay's. And Wilbur approves. <laughs> he was kind of hiding there in the chips. <laughs> and... Then we got lots of pretzels. We got some of the sticks and some of the mini pretzels. There's some Chex Mix and more of the sticks. And then these are the um, kettle chips, salt and pepper. Lots of them, guys. So this was a total score for the pantry. Everything looks great. And it was just so much fun finding it. And Wilbur and Mac approve. If you guys are new here, some of you wonder <laughs> what's going on with my pig and my truck. Um, this is Wilbur. I found him in a dumpster. And so he just likes to hang out with me and kind of check out all of my finds. <laughs> and this is Mac. Mac is my, my dump truck. I just love him to death. I found him when I was curb shopping. Someone was throwing him away. So it was just a perfect find for me. And we just have lots of fun together. doesn't. <laughs> I love the smell of trash. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you real soon with another haul.